I'm your athletic director, Rich Holkow, and as always, I'd like to welcome you all to the Varsity Football Awards Assembly. Now, for these special cheerleaders. Now, to begin tonight, I'd like the cheerleaders to come on out, if they would. everyone who contributed to make the Redskin Open a success this year. The money we earned, we can now purchase that new high-tech equipment our football team so desperately needs. Our new equipment of last year is insufficient to our growing high standards. Now, to present the cheerleaders with a token of the team's appreciation, Captain Jess Siebert and Kurt Winnie. Come on out, guys. Thanks, Coach. We didn't want the cheerleaders to feel left out, so we took the remaining Redskin Open funds, which unfortunately wasn't very much, to purchase some new high quality rain gear. Everyone knows how pathetic they look when it's raining out. <laughs> we even took the liberty of cutting out designs, thinking they were too stupid to figure it out. <laughs> With that, I'd like to leave it to Coach and hand these cheerleaders a token of our appreciation. Thank you, Captain Siebert. Uh, I'd like to mention that that rain gear is a heifer, I mean, hefty product. <laughs> That's not all we have for him, is it, Captain Winnie? No, sir, Coach. Cheerleaders, we really feel bad that no one pays attention to you during our games. <laughs> it's just that the crowd has its priorities straight. They watch us. But I suppose they could get bored from watching us smashing, bashing, and scoring so often. And who knows? They might even take a glance at you once in a while. <laughs> well, to make up for this blatant fact, we'd like to give you a chance to show the crowd what it is you guys really do out there. <laughs> Coach? That's a great idea, Captain Winnie. You know, I also feel guilty about the crowd's correct priorities. I mean, Coach Benny the Jet Armstrong, if anyone can tell you, no one's watched these here cheerleaders since Christ the Carpenter. Okay, cheerleaders, <laughs> floor's yours. Okay, girls, ready? Today, uh, the custodians told me that those planks up there are really pretty weak. So, like, if you take a, you know, a step back or two, you know, that that really do me really good, you know. Thank you, you know. Well, you know, you may, you know, you know, it's about eight feet, you know, worth a weak plank. So, just uh, maybe another, you know, about a half step, maybe, you know, that'll do it. Okay, girls, you ready? Yeah. Set. One. Thank you, Mr. Armstrong. Now, what you've all been waiting for. The football team. Come out, guys. Is this exciting, folks? Instead of listening to a bunch of wailing snobs, you get to see this group of handsome-looking studs. But don't get me wrong, cheerleading is just as important as football. I mean, they can talk to me any time, can't the guys? Um, I mean, these guys... Coach Hulk, I thought you said we could cheer. Uh, I'm sorry, were you talking to me? Yes, I thought you said yeah. we could cheer. Uh, I, di I did say that. Uh, yeah. Later. Uh, okay. Come on. Thank you, let's see, we got snaps, we got okay, studs, we can... Wait, you didn't t say what later was. Later, it's much later. Get back, just... Okay. <laughs> okay, now back to these great guys. I mean, these guys, they're handsome, they're strong, they're, they're, they're just... Is it later yet? Uh, Mr. Garber, could you... Uh, uh, oh, hey! 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 Thank you, Mr. Garber. <laughs> Once, just look at the time. I guess we won't have time to hear the cheerleaders after all, and I'm sure you're real disappointed. We really got to hurry to make our reservations for lunch. Oh, I see Mr. Lunch. Du Bois, and I think he lunch. has our special football lunch passes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Holcomb. Oh, it's a pleasure doing this with you. Jim Staley. Oh. Great season. Great season. Thank you. Looking good, Bob. Looking good, Bob. Looks like that morning's going to turn it off. Here you go, Mr. Garber. Great quarterback he's had this year. Here we go, Mr. Canfield. You're like my brother. You're a brother to me. Mr. Winnie, well, here, why don't you just have three or four? <laughs> Jeremy Curry, phenomenal. Now. Great place. God, my God. Jeff, what can I say? Another great season with you. Why don't you come back to my office a little bit later? Thanks, dude. Coach. <laughs> You're not part of the team. We are part of that team. Do you have your special yellow passes? Hey, we went over to Minnesota. <laughs> We're at those games every Friday. We oh, even bake them to eat. I yeah. never noticed that. We spend our own money. Come on We're now. We're part of the team. We're cheerleaders. Come on, dudes. Cheerleading's a sport. <laughs> Girls, 
like, I can't. Your parents, you know, proper attendance procedures. If your parents are not called in, you... But we need to eat. Hey, Dukes, have a pineapple? You got it. Come on. <laughs> But come on, girls, you can come back to my office and meet, eat as many jelly ranchers as you jelly want. Jelly ranchers? Oh, oh, no, no. You can fry, too. You can fry, too.